You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. When the chill of winter begins to fade and the king of all seasons, spring takes over, the fascinatingly historical temples of Khajuraho in Chhatarpur district of Madhya Pradesh start preparing to celebrate the glory of the classical dance forms of India. Organized as Khajuraho Dance Festival, the week-long cultural extravaganza recently observed its 48th edition where a number of eminent gurus and young artists performed a blend of different genres of classical dances. Take a look. The Khajuraho Dance Festival, which was primarily meant to showcase the classical dance forms of India, has today grown into an event that offers a complete experience of Indian heritage and its rich art and culture. Held against the backdrop of magnificently lit Khajuraho temples, popularly the Chitragupt temples, built by the rulers of Chandela dynasty, between 1950 and 1050 AD takes us back in time and make this festival completely irresistible. The intricate footwork of Kathak, highly stylized and sophisticated Bharat Natyam and soft lyrical temple dance of Odissi keeps the audience spellbound during the whole event. I'm really glad that I got to know about it, uh, pretty much by chance, because I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. It's uh, been quite impressive, especially at this backdrop uh, of the ancient temples. So it's my first night, but I'm going to stay definitely for the second night to see more of those dances. This year too, the festival witnessed some of the great performances by legendary as well as upcoming artists. Palipuram Suni, a well-known Kathakali exponent from Kerala, enthralled the audience as he performed with his wife Paris Lakshmi, who is a Bharatanatyam dancer. They presented Krishna Maya that highlights stories from Lord Krishna's life with compositions from Kathakali and Bharatanatyam repertoire. We performed the Krishna Maya. It's a duet of Kathakali and Bharatanatyam. And uh, we, we are so, so happy that we got the uh, chance and blessing to perform here at Khajurao Dance Festival. Uh, we've been uh, uh, dreaming of this day and uh, today is very special for us because it's the 85th uh, performance of Krishna Mayam. So I think it's uh, really uh, a lucky number for us. And um, we are looking forward to come back here at Kajrao because we love the place and uh, the temples are so beautiful. I, I've been here before, but yes, it's a wonderful place. Besides the high octane performances, the festival also put up a number of exhibitions like Alankaran, Art Mart, Nepathya, Hunar Chal Chetra, and many more. These events not just offered visitors with a shopping experience but also provided them with an opportunity to meet the faces behind the meticulously made products. Besides, artisans got an opportunity to sell and market their products. Art Mart bhi hai yaha pe aur ek fair bhi laga hai. To is mein sabhi log aaye hai aur pariyoto ke liye aur amare district ke liye bhi ek garv ki baat hai. To ye har saal jo organize karte hai. Mera सभी से अनुरोध है कि लोकल जितने भी हमारा आर्टिजान से उनको प्रमोट करें और उनसे जरूर इस दौरान आप शॉपिंग करें और प्रमोट करें अपना कल्चर। Altogether, Khajuraho Festival is a reflection of the heritage that withstood the ravages of time and whose glory still shines through and draws visitors from all over the globe. Sufism 
has entrenched itself at the center of cultural and spiritual life in India. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir serves as the richest reservoir of this tradition and this can be well witnessed during the odes of Sufi saints in the region when people cutting across religious lines gather under one roof. So, giving a glimpse of this unique devotional culture, today we take you to the 21st Urs commemoration of Pir Nizamuddin Ghazi that was recently commemorated in the Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir. Take a look. The shrine of Sufi Saint Pir Nizamuddin Ghazi, located in the Kotdhara village of Rajori district, is an abode of peace and tranquility. Cutting across all religious lines, devotees gathered at the shrine to attend the 21st Urs of the Holy Saint. They offered special prayers at the shrine and wished for peace and prosperity to prevail across the nation. <laughs> علم نہیں ہے ہمارے پاس وہ زبان نہیں ہے جس کو جو ہم بھائی چارے کے اگر ہم مشال دیں یہاں پہ عورتیں بھی موجود ہیں یہاں پہ چھوٹے بچے بھی موجود ہیں یہاں پہ اگر دیکھا جائے تو پورا جو سرونڈنگ ایریا ہے مسلمان ہے لیکن اس کے باوجود بھی دور سے لوگ جو ہیں وہ دوسرے مذہب کے لوگ جو ہیں وہ یہاں پہ آتے ہیں اور بھائی چارے کا تو یہ ایک صاف سی مشال ہے کہ یہاں پہ لوگ اتنے حجوم میں اگر اکٹھے ہوتے ہیں تو یہ ایک بڑی مشال ہمارے لیے یہاں پہ پیدا ہوتی ہے بھائی چارے کی as a part of celebrations, Sufi scholars and imams summoned the public on the life, religious services, teachings and spiritual strength of the saint who devoted himself in service of the public good. Community kitchen or langar was also set up at the outdoors to serve meals as holy sacrament to the devotees coming from different regions. It is believed that saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from hell. यहाँ संगा के साहब ये निजाम शाह गाजी रहमतुल्लाह अलैही ये रजोरी के अंदर बहुत मशहूर जगह है, बहुत मशहूर ज़ियारत है। इस ज़ियारत के ऊपर आगे ये दर्दमन अपनी अपनी मुरादें, अपनी अपनी परेशानियाँ लेकर आते हैं, लेकिन अल्लाह तबरगताला उनकी परेशानियों हाँ भाईचारे की एक इतनी बेहतरीन मिसाल जो कहीं और नहीं मिलेगी चांद एक जगह छोड़कर तो यहाँ हर फिरका के लोग हर मजहब के लोग हर तबका के लोग यहाँ आते हैं और आपस के अंदर भाईचारा इसमें कायम है सब आपने अपनी मुश्किलें मुरादें लेकर वाली एक आमल के दरबार में हाजिर होते हैं जो आता है वो कभी खाली नहीं जाता clearly indicates that the lesson of humanity and compassion towards all religious communities is still having its roots deeply embedded in the culture and traditions of India. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. A 2300-year-old mummy is attracting tourists from across the country to a museum in India's northwestern Jaipur city. We have technical things that we do not do, but we call them experts from Egypt. We have an expert in 2011, we have an expert in 2016, we have an expert in 2016, we have done x-ray, और इसका एक्सरे भी हमने म्यूजियम में एक्सरे मशीन वगैरह किया था जिप की टीम के सामने ही एक्सरे किया था तो उनके द्वारा इसकी पोजीशन बहुत ही अच्छी स्थिति में बताई है पूरी इसकी जो स्कल्टन है वो कंप्लीट एकदम ठीक है। A number of tourists were seen enjoying the history at Albert Hall Museum while looking at various artifacts on display at the museum, including the mummy that has been the center of attraction. The mummy is that of Tutu that was brought from a museum in Cairo. Preservation of mummy is done by a team of experts who visit from Egypt. The mummy has been in museum since its opening in 1887. The Indian Navy recently carried out a successful test firing of supersonic cruise missile Brahmos from its ship INS Vishakhapatnam. Firing day, Indian Navy. 75 years in service of the nation, President's Fleet Review, 21 February 2022, Indian Navy tweeted. The missile was reportedly test-fired last month off India's western seaboard. The ship has now reached Vishakhapatnam along the eastern coast in Bay of Bengal.
बॉलीवुड सेलिब्रिटीज रेज दी ग्लैमर क्वेश्चन एट दी रेड कार्पेट ऑफ दादा साहेब फालके इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल अवार्ड एज दे अटेंडेड दी प्रेस्टीजियस अवार्ड फंक्शन इन इंडिया वेस्टर्न मुंबई सिटी एक्ट्रेस लाइक लारा दत्ता रवीना टंडन सिद्धार्थ मल्होत्रा श्रद्धा आर्या कियारा आडवाणी एंड सिंगर कनिका कपूर वर अमंग सम ऑफ दी वेल नोन फेसेस ऑफ दी फिल्म एंड टेलीविजन इंडस्ट्री हु वर प्रेजेंट बेस्ट फिल्म वाज अवार्डेड टू शेर शाह बेस्ट एक्टर रणवीर सिंह बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस कृति सनॉन क्रिटिक्स बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस कियारा आडवाणी एंड क्रिटिक्स बेस्ट एक्टर सिद्धार्थ मल्होत्रा इट्स ऑलवेज स्पेशल व्हेन यू गेट एन अवार्ड इट्स ऑलवेज मोटिवेटिंग एंड इनकरेजिंग um you know to be honored and with such a and be appreciated um especially on such a prestigious platform uh lekin i think uh, main bahut blessed hu ye mera second award hai dada saheb phalke se last year bhi hum sab baat kar rahe the for guilty aur is saal for sher shah i think it's just it's very motivating i hope next year and the years to follow i keep um, being able to share my love with you through my work and receive that same love which i look forward to dada saheb phalke award is considered indian cinema's highest award in new delhi it is named after the father of indian cinema whose raja harish chandra was the first indian movie released in 1913 And now we will take you to Kangra city of Himachal Pradesh where generations of Muslim Shehnai players have been playing these musical instruments at a Hindu temple as a gesture of brotherhood and unity among the two communities. India is a home to a number of different castes, communities, ethnicities and religious groups that reside peacefully on this land. Example of this peaceful coexistence can be easily spotted in every nook and corner of the country. One such example can be witnessed in Kangra district of Himachal Pradesh where Muslim have been playing shehnai at a Hindu temple for generations. काफी लोग यहां पे आते हैं और यहां पे जो आप पूछ रहे हैं कि जो मुसलमान लोग हैं जो शहनाई वादन करते हैं ये सैनाई वादन मुसलमान लोग जो ये काफ़ी पीढ़ी दर से पीढ़ी दर से इन ये यहाँ नाग मंदिर में आकर यहाँ सैनाई वादन करते हैं और ये हमारे लिए एक बहुत खुशी का पल है कि ये मुस्लिम होके भी हिंदू के साथ रहकर अपना अपना सहयोग देते हैं और हम हम आपस में सब मिलजुल के रहते हैं यहाँ पे काफ़ी भाईचारा है हिंदू मुस्लिम सब हम एक ही हैं और चाहे वो किसी भी धर्म का हो चाहे वो हिंदू धर्म का मंदिर हो चाहे मुस्लिम धर्म का मंदिर हो हम सब एक ही साथ मिलकर यहाँ पर गाँव में हर चीज़ जो भी है वो बांटते हैं The atmosphere of Indra Nag Dev Temple in Khaniara village echoes with tunes of Shehnai on all special occasions and prayers which are organized inside the temple's campus presenting a beautiful example of religious harmony and brotherhood member of four muslim families have been playing instruments like Shehnai Nagara Ransinga for generations here This is the sixth generation of these families who have been carrying forward the message of unity propagated by their ancestors. ये बहुत अच्छा अनुभव रहा है और हमें पांच छह पीढ़ी हो गई है बजाते हुए शनाई और मैं छह पीढ़ी से हूँ जी और जो भी इंद्रुनाग मंदिर में कोई भी शुभ काम होता है तो हम शनाई बजाने आते हैं और जहाँ भी इंद्रुनाग मंदिर प्रस्थान करते हैं जैसे मेले हो गए समारोह कोई भी समारोह हो गया तो वहाँ हमें शनाई बजाने जाना पड़ता है आज तक ऐसा कोई आपत्ति हुई नहीं कि कोई किसी ने कोई आपत्ति की हो कि मुस्लिम शहनाई बाजार हैं ऐसा ऐसा कुछ नहीं है वैसे मिलजुल के माहौल बन अच्छा माहौल बना रहता है इट इज़ ड्यू टू एग्जाम्पल लाइक दिस दैट द वर्ल्ड रिमेंस ऑल स्ट्रक विद इंडियाज एबिलिटी टू स्टे यूनाइटेड डिस्पाइट इट्स डाइवर्सिटी Next we move on to Jammu and Kashmir that recently became the crowd puller as it hosted a 3 day long winter carnival at a famous attraction in Kulgam aimed at exploring the tourism potential of the district the event hosted a melange of snow events and games that witnessed a huge participation have a look Located on the river Veshab the sheer magnificence of Aherbal in the Kulgam district is a sight to behold During winters it gets covered with a white sheet of snow forming a perfect destination to host recreational and snow activities. 
to unleash the tourism potential of this unexplored destination, a three-day winter carnival was recently organized in Eherbal. Tourists from different parts of the country thronged the place to enjoy its beauty and involve themselves in various snow games. I would say like tourism is something which is an emerging and the most potential sector as far as district Kulgam is concerned. We know about many beautiful places like Sonmar, Gulmarg and all in Kerala but there are as beautiful places in this district also which is yet to be explored. There are many programs going on here like winter sports are going on, snow rugby, snow cricket. So for me even snow all of this everything is a new experience and I am really enjoying this and I hope people from different parts of the country will come and enjoy the beauty uh, and this mesmerizing beauty of this place. The event was organized by the district administration in collaboration with Herbal Development Authority, Tourism Department and Forest Division Kulgam. A number of games like snow rugby, snow volleyball, snow runs for peas, skiing and tug of war were hosted during the carnival. Carried out for the first time at Eherbal, the event also aimed to provide a wonderful experience to visitors along with cherishing the snowy landscape. The 21st century ka jo tourist hai, wo sir pehle jaise classical tourist hota tha, aakhon se dekhta tha, uh, just lete pada hua rata tha ya kisti mein ghumta tha, waisa tourist nahi hai. अभी 21st सेंचुरी वाला टूरिस्ट जो है पहाड़ों में जाने वाला है खेल कूद करने वाला है पेड़ों पर चढ़ने वाला है या जो एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट्स से उसमें ज्यादा बिलीव करने वाला है बेसिकली अब जो टूरिज्म है वो एक्सपीरियंस का टूरिज्म हुआ है ना सिर्फ देखने का आइज के लिए बेहतर खूबसूरती तो जरूरी है लेकिन साथ ब साथ वो एक्सपीरियंस भी करेगा तो एक्सपीरियंस के लिए जो है डेफिनेटली यहां कुलगाम में अहरबल में काफी स्कोप है द टूरिस्ट्स एंड लोकल रेजिडेंट्स इंक्लूडिंग पार्टिसिपेंट्स लॉडेड द स्टेप्स टेकन बाय द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एज इट प्रोवाइडेड देम एन एस्केप फ्रॉम द डेली ग्राइंड बहुत शुक्रगुजार हूं कि डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कुलगाम में हमने यह मौका दिया है कि यहां की खूबसूरती का मजा उठाने का मौका दिया है मैं बहुत ज्यादा खुश हूं इससे पहले नहीं होता था आज पहली बार हो रहा है आई एम हियर फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम फ्रॉम माय चाइल्डहुड और uh, मैं बहुत ज्यादा खुश हूं आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी एंड आई एम आई वाज फ्रॉम लास्ट टू डेज आई वाज वेरी वेरी एक्साइटेड मैंने रग्बी में हिस्सा लिया है मैंने टॉग ऑफ वॉर में हिस्सा लिया है और मुझे बहुत मजा आ रहा है यह सब इसकी खूबसूरती का मजा उठाने का मजा ही कुछ और है with such events being organized on a regular basis at various offbeat destinations will not just lead to their inclusion in the itinerary of tourists but also bring a revolution in the tourism industry of Jammu and Kashmir. In the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. The 137th traditional Battle of the Flowers took place in Nice as the southern French cities carnival continued for the second week. Performers atop animal-themed floats ridden with flowers wear bouquets at the crowd and threw flowers at the audience as musicians and dancers flank them. Around 3,000 flowers decorated each of the 16 floats in a celebration of the Nice region's horticulture industry. Until a series of health restrictions were lifted on February 2, the number of attendees had been limited to 5,000 seated people but organizers now expect to welcome an additional 7,000 standing spectators. Every year the carnival attracts more than 200,000 spectators with its parade and annual battle of flowers. The event has been a fixture of the city on the French Riviera for almost 150 years. Various companies in Japan are expanding their businesses through global trade, but fluctuating currency rate has been a major concern for them. Japan's NTT Communications has developed a new innovative platform to solve this problem with guaranteed rates. The 
でその状況で例えば日本のお客様であったり世界のお客様がビジネスをグローバルでビジネスをしようと思った時に非常にやりにくいということがお一つ大きな問題となっておりましたそこで為替を固定することによってよりそのお客様のビジネスが外国のまあお客様であったりまあ場合によっては物を輸入するという場合においても非常にやりやすくなるというふうに NTT コムは考えましてそういったビジネスを提供いたしております。機能としては全て API アプリケーションプログラムインターフェースというシステムがこう、まあ、お互いに呼び合うという仕組みで提供しておりますのでビジネスにも非常に組みやすいサービスとなっております。The new platform is now used successfully for trade between Japan and Africa. Local customers express their high satisfaction with a new service during online meeting between headquarters in Japan and local staff in Kenya. A new kind of robot that will follow you around the shops, carry your groceries, and even act as a seat if you need to a break is undergoing assessment in the UK. Jita is a new concept of aid for the elderly. Its maker hope will become a common sight in shopping centers and town centers in the future. Jita, Italian for short trip, is made by robotic companies Piaggio, Fast Forward, and Bagweb Piaggio Group, famous for the Vespa scooter. Jita is the first of a kind uh, carrying uh, following robots. I think following is the key word here because it's a robot that instead of something you step on or a vehicle that you step on, it's literally just following you and it does it very well. It uses one of the most advanced technology, but its purpose is just to basically help you to walk more, help walk uh, free from goods because you can carry goods inside Jita. And the purpose is just to help people to walk more and, and take advantage of innovation in our daily things, just like walking for, through town. The assessment work is part of a project by the Design Age Institute, part of Royal College of Art, who are trying to develop commercially viable products that will people maintain active and joyful lives at any age. Jita is already on the market at a cost of Rs. $2,950 or $103 per month. Japan and ASEAN are joining hands to enhance economic stability and security related issues. We, you know, of course, you know, uh, really rely on the security and stability you know, in Indo Pacific. And I think. An open in the Pacific, you know, will benefit, you know, not only Indonesia, but I think will benefit uh, other countries as well, you know, because this is the most important uh, conditions, you know, for uh, trade to take place, you know, which is the uh, sea road, the uh, maritime domain must be uh, secure and also must be stable. ASEAN you know, really expect, you know, Japan to play a more active internet uh, security role, and I think. The ASEAN outlook on Indo-Pacific will provide a new platform for ASEAN and Japan to work and cooperate on security matters even more. Uh, ASEAN and Japan now should really expand the cooperation to include you know, much more uh, active you know, on the uh, security area as well, more than not only on the economic uh, cooperation, because we do have these uh, uh, common challenges that we are facing in the Indo-Pacific. Thailand Authority analyzes the concept of free open Indo-Pacific. Free and open Indo-Pacific concept is expanding widely from Southeast Asia, India to Africa. It guarantees safety, peace, economic prosperity and strong human ties. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma Jafri and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.